Howdy folks, Sunny South. Hope everybody doing real good. Cheerios on the menu this afternoon. I don't cook up a whole lot of sweets. I like a little ice cream, banana pudding, maybe a peach cobbler or fudge pie here and there. But I just don't do a whole lot of cooking uh, with sweets, but I do know how to make a good churro. And for this, you're going to need a churro press. It's about $8. And, you know, you can roll these out and, and cook them, fry them up. And they're all right that way, too. But what makes a churro real good is uh, this star-shaped pattern you get here on those peaks and valleys. Those peaks get nice and crispy. And the interior is kind of uh, uh, tender and uh, creamy. So you really got to have that shape for a good churro. I got about a half a cup of sugar in the raw organic sugar and about a half a cup of uh, plain old processed white sugar. Teaspoon of cinnamon in here mixed up. We'll to toss these in there once they're fried up. For the churro batter, it is super simple. Two cups of water. Two and two-thirds cup all-purpose flour. Gonna need some salt, some vanilla, and about a quarter cup of fat. And I'm using butter. You can use vegetable oil or something if you want to. We'll get that batter put together, get it in the press. Get those frying in some vegetable oil. We'll get them tossed in this sugar concoction here. And I'm going to put together some kind of little dipping sauce, uh, probably a peach-based sauce. I'm still kind of studying how I want to do that. You know, a good chocolate sauce or something's real good to dip these in, but I don't have nothing to make that with. So I'll come up with something be pretty good. Let's get to cooking. We're going to get these two cups of water in the pot here and let it start coming up to a gentle boil. With this butter, it's a quarter cup of butter. I melted it. Don't know why I did that. Not necessary. Sometimes I do stupid stuff. You can just throw your four tablespoons in there. It'll melt. We're going to get us about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract in. Let's get us about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Alright, we got a little simmer going on there. And I'm going to turn the heat off, and we're going to start putting this flour in two and two-thirds cup all-purpose flour. And you just want to mix this around until all your flour is hydrated. We're going to let that sit there and cool off a little bit while we get this little sauce put together. Get a little butter in here. We got a little cognac with a orange liqueur in it. We'll get a little of that in there. We'll let that alcohol cook off. Now the alcohol is cooked off and this butter is starting to brown a little bit. Get a little nutty flavor on it. Extra good. I got some uh, peach preserves here. A local pe peach preserve. These right here are really good. Get a little maple syrup in. Give that a taste. See if it's gonna be any good. Might not be any fitting to eat. Oh no, that's delicious. That is definitely good. Put a little more peach in there.
just a touch strong on the maple syrup. I'm gonna put a little salt in it too. Trying to smash them little peach pieces up there a little bit. I'll try it again. Mmm. Yeah. That's going to be real good to dip the churro in. I'll cut the fire off on that. I'll finish it with just another little pat of butter. Make it nice and shiny. A nice little sweet peach flavor. A little bit of orange flavor in there too from that liqueur. Just a little more salt. That's Reverend Folks approved. Alright, our oil is just about up to temp. Go ahead and load this bad boy up. It all should be hot. I'm gonna go ahead and drop them five right yonder. Let's see. Oh yeah, she right. Looking for them to get gold and brown. Alright, those have been in there about three minutes. So we're going to get them out and get them in this sugar. There we go. Nice, beautiful churro. Nice and sweet. Well, let's get in here and see how it's hitting. Mmm. You see how you're still a little bit soft inside? Get it with some of this peach sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. That's delicious. Mmm. Such a simple little batter. Get a slight bit of vanilla in the background. Nice and crispy on the outside. Soft and creamy on the inside. That peach sauce right there is a flat tin. Something I just threw together. Turned out real good. That's it, folks. Till next time. Peace.